today we're going to talk about FDR and his uh, campaign of 1932 before he was elected president of the United States for the next 12 years. Um, so before he was president, he was a senator of New York uh, and then later the governor of New York. Uh, so he already had practice in politics and obviously the majority of his family did as well. The Roosevelt name is no stranger to politics. Um, with Teddy Roosevelt, his distant cousin being the president just before that, in the early 1900s, um, FDR was kind of um, kind of a shoe in to be at least running for president. The first piece I want to talk about is this cane, and it says on one side FDR or well Franklin D. Roosevelt, and then on the other side for president, um, 32. So this was one of his early pieces when he was running for president. Um, it's a small cane, as you could tell, so it's probably just used for show and not used actually as a cane. Um, and the interesting thing about this is that it was shortly after it was made decided that it was in bad taste because as we know FDR had polio um, so he could not walk well at least not without braces and a lot of assistance. Um, so the idea of a cane being um, a symbol of his electability was pretty bad so these were not made uh, very largely in fact only a few of these were made before they were discontinued. So it's a neat piece. The next pieces we have are some election buttons. Um, so some of these are um, lapel pins, some of them are actually buttons, and they get really intricate and really detailed. Um, there's one here that I like a lot with a, an embroidered American flag on it. There are a few with donkeys, um, a few that say, you know, kind of fun slogans and quotes and things like that, but then a few that are very simple and just get right to the point and say Roosevelt. Um, so they're just kind of neat. And then lastly, this was um, a fan and uh, like a mask uh, people would use during parades and things like that to commemorate FDR and to um, sort of help re-elect him in the future years that he was being elected. Um, and on the back it's an advertisement for the company that produced them, so <laughs> kind of neat. Um, but yeah. So all these pieces and obviously thousands more were created to get FDR elected um, in the first place and then continue his election. Um, throughout his years in office. So these pieces that I've shown you here today and more are from the Robert and Susan Fratkin collection and you can come visit us and see those on our tour. Um, they're really, really neat pieces, very, very, uh, very rare, so really cool to be able to see such interesting pieces. And obviously FDR being such a huge part of Arthurdale, um, the creation of Arthurdale, makes them very worthwhile for us to, to hold on to. Uh, Alright, so well thank you very much for joining us and uh, join us next week.